Like an awful lot of nerds out there, I've owned all sorts of gadgets, and one of the ones I tend to go sort of dip in and dip out of are watches, especially smart watches. Now, I got the very first Apple Watch, and then I moved from Apple to Samsung and got the Samsung Watch. And I've been doing this to and fro for a good number of years now, where I move from one platform, stay with that for a while, and then move to the other. And recently, I moved back to Apple for numerous reasons. I've, I've tried all sorts of smart watches and Fitbits and all those kinds of things. And I've always been left feeling a little flat or just that it's, it's not really doing what I want. They've really gone all out for their latest one, which is the Ultra. Now, I... I didn't think I would love this as much as I do. Key things that you really need to know about the Ultra that that really make it stand out. And they're the, in some ways some of the most simplest things, but they are key to why I think this is without doubt the best smartwatch I've ever owned. We'll start with number one. Number one is probably the biggest one to for me and for a lot of people with smartwatches and that's the battery life battery life on the iWatches was or on the sort of standard iWatches the battery is dead by pretty much the end of the day so if you want to do sort of sleep tracking and so on you kind of have to charge it at least at the end of that day or towards the end of that day this the ultra lasts I would say for me, with working out, with all the other things that I do with it, it monitors everything and I get about two days solid. So that's two full days and two full nights. I can put this on charge and say within an hour and a half, maybe two hours from being flat to full takes about a couple of hours. So. What I tend to do on, say, the, the third day where it's complaining that, you know, you need to charge this now, I will, after working out, I will put it on the charger, go and take a shower, go and do all the things I need to do. And then by the time I'm getting back to sort of working and so on, it's already charged and I can put it back on ready for another couple of days and couple of nights, no matter what you're throwing at it. So I think the battery is possibly the biggest key point in why you should consider the iWatch Ultra. So let's talk about number two. Number two for me is the titanium casing and the, the, the buckle and so on. The casing on this is super strong. Harking back to the original iWatches, the design of those, they've improved an awful lot over the years in terms of strength. But what I did found, find you wearing one is that I was super cautious in in what i was doing i'm always fiddling with something i've got a koi pond i've got an aquarium i've got fitness gear i've got gadgetry so my hands are stuck down things as it were fiddling with things mm, need to rephrase that probably but there's always a chance that whatever watch i'm wearing and i always forget to take them off is, is going to get scratched and I found that with the sort of the, the normal Apple watches that they would get scratched really easily and I really wasn't prepared to spend an awful lot of much more money just on a much better case and I think the design of the Apple watch is 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 okay it's just not very compelling to look at it's not very exciting but i did find that it got scratched very easily the edges of the screen would always end up getting a bit chipped or scratched so i always found that a, a real sort of a pain whereas this is is just bulletproof you've got this rim around the edge you've got this strong case you know it's just the way it's built it's built like a tank let's talk about number three and number three is when you're wearing an and I've had this an awful lot with smart watches is they tend to be a little bit uncomfortable. And this is one of the things I was worried about with the iWatch Ultra is I've got namby-pamby little wrists. 
certainly on my left arm because I've got a ruptured bicep so the muscle here is atrophied yeah it's a long story um, anyway I've got I've got slim wrists certainly on my left arm and and it's a big watch and I'm used to wearing big watches so that's fine I don't mind big watches but what I was concerned about is is the comfort and and how it would feel on my wrist and I can gladly report that the supplied band that comes with it is is perhaps the most comfortable strap and watch I've ever worn and I've had some luxury watches that have cost thousands of pounds I wash in the shower I take it to the shower with me yeah I know it's a bit weird and yeah it just how it is how it how it works and feels on the skin even when it's wet is is really good and it dries out really quick as well and just how it all sort of fits in with the watch I thought maybe the watch would be a bit heavy but I'm kind of used to sort of manual normal watches that can be quite heavy if you're worried about comfort and you've got small wrists like me and uh, you don't mind wearing a big watch like me then this is certainly one to go for let's talk about number four and really it's a very simple thing but one of the key annoyances that i had with a lot of smart watches and most certainly the apple watch is this has an always on display and the display on this is super bright 2000 nits on the normal I watch it turns off so it has that sort of adaptive thing if you look at your watch it will go on but it, it kind of looks you just have this black bit of plastic you know screen black screen all the time on your on your wrist and it looks ugly whereas this is on all the time and it doesn't it, you know and I'm talking about the battery life earlier even this isn't in low power mode when it's doing the two days two nights thing it's this is with the the screen on as it is now and yeah just stays perfect and the always on screen is just really cool it's a very simple thing is that you kind of just want to be able to easily turn your wrist and see the time or just even glance at it you don't want to have to like a lot of smart smart watches make the action of looking at your watch you just half the time you're glancing down at it and if it's a smart watch like an iWatch or some of the Samsung ones or whatever that sort of turn on from an action it's not on it's dark so you kind of have to make and it sounds ridiculous but you kind of have to make that action to make it work and that becomes tiring tiring not in a physical sense but tiring as in where a gadget you're working for the gadget and the gadget isn't working for you so most certainly with how this works with it being on all the time is, is a really key thing for me and and I think you know the the the, the the selection of faces that you can have are pretty cool and, and you can adjust them however you want as well and I think that's great. So those are my sort of top four reasons why I think the Apple Watch Ultra is the best watch out there. Yes, it's it's pretty much twice the price of a normal iWatch and it is expensive, but when you compare it to other high-end fitness watches it's about it's actually cheaper than some of the garmin ones if you're into fitness and tracking and doing all that i think this is this is a must simply because of the comfort and the durability of it and the fact that the battery life lasts a long time if you're more of a a super athlete type person the battery might be a problem because you know if you're doing those sorts of events where you're you're doing fitness for days on end you would probably need something like a Garmin you know, top of the range Garmin's where, that can last for a long time I think if, if you've if you've worn Apple watches and s s smart watches before and you become sort of it's it's not for me that's where I was until I got this and I thought I'd give this a go have you got a smart watch have you got an ultra have you got an iWatch a Samsung a Garmin what do you think about it? Are you like me where you kind of thought, yeah, it's not for me. And then you tried it and you thought, yeah, this is for me. I love this. Let me know in your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care.